Hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in December 1, and what we're going to be doing first of all is start to fertilise these grass fields. They're in our last growth state. And yeah, we have been very busy, as you may see on that top right corner of the screen. We are at almost £600,000. We were over six hundred grand, but yeah, to explain, we've been selling some products and that, so what I'm going to do now is include a short clip of us doing some contract work and selling some produces, mainly our apple honey and apple juice, because oh boy, did we not make some money off that. So from you can see, we've been busy, we've been doing a little bit of contract work, but mainly like selling the apple juice and the apple honey. Like Apple juice we know they're going to be profitable, also we are still selling our apples, we're still selling them to sell at the moment, but boy with the apple honey it was like made into, what was it, over 300 grand just from that alone. So yeah, what I've got and done is, I've got a second no, I'll take the third or fourth trader. I'll take the fifth, because we've got the two power trade ones, we've got Trans 70. And well, I had that little one we used for the oats initially for the horses, so technically that's our fifth trader, but this is gonna be I think a, like a daily replacement trader. Like the power trade ones are two three thousand years are nice, they're good. But, yeah, I don't know. Thinking, let's do it with a easy, small trader just on the farm. That's not if you say we can't just detach the power trade once and, you know, use them individually. And we have been using those individually, but, I think, yeah, no harm in having an extra trader about. That is at the store at the moment. Do need to pick that up. So we'll go and pick that up. We also got some grain, also some wheat for the chickens and that. Because yeah, our animals are right at the moment for food. Yeah, chickens could do some more food. Also, rabbits need some grass or hay, and so does our cows at Stonebridge Farm, I think. And uh, will we have enough fertilizer to get all this done? I don't know, so you yeah, have go to our Stonebridge farm cows. I did have to put a quick bell or two off hay in as we were skimming the head the weeks and that till December. So yeah, let me quickly get it sorted, get some stuff loaded up, and then we'll take some hay down for the cows.
with all that sorted, we've just took some strawberries over, 8,000 years. And yeah, for whilst we're here, we'll get John Deere loaded up because we need some more fertilizer and a whole bunch of it. So we'll, we'll bring this trailer over with us. But yeah, we'll have the power new trailer. There's only a small trailer, like 40,000, well, say that, small one, but it's a 40,000 year capacity trailer. And we're keeping the Massey with this Ursus low loader theme because, as you probably guessed by the thumbnail of this episode, it's going to be time to sell all of our bulky materials. Things like our flour, our butter, sugar and that. Much, well, maybe not sugar, but anything and everything is going to be sold. Also, we need to, one, oops, not crash, two, move the roller and get that and the uh, extra sea tank thing back. But yeah, as I was on about, we need to spray some herbicide on that field. But yeah, see also our money's on up a little bit. I think they earn around fifteen hundred two grand an hour. And yeah, for doing what, four four day months? That is a lot of money we're making. That's just from selling the apples. And yeah, obviously part of that is, is the average sale price and I think since we're getting off the total value, 20% goes to the distribution fee. But yeah, paying 20% for someone to come and collect our apples seems a bit steep. But I think overall it's not too bad all things considering. Just simply because like how much we're producing. Like, those apples with four day mumps, we're getting one pallet a month, or one pallet a week. So four pallets a week times that by 39. That's a lot of pallets to handle. But yeah, so anyways, we're at the deer ship now. So yeah, I've got a little cheap Fiegel TMK273. It was on offer and that, so I thought, heck it. And yeah, at the moment there's nothing really good on offer for us. There's no contracts at the moment. Our chickens, they do need some feed soon, but they do last a while, so I'm not overly concerned. But yeah, that was all, almost all of our hay gone. But we should be fine for the next few months. Yeah, 150,000 years, they do last a while. But yeah, our Angus is, they are almost a year old, so they'll be going up in value soon. But I think it's three years we are going to have them before we sell them at optimum price, so... Obviously, our grass fields are ready, so if we have a look here... Turn our grass on, have a look. Majority of our grass is ready, so I'm actually thinking... All of that can be silage. These grass fields here... And this one here, we can use that and make hay. Get some hay bells in. Because, yeah, actually, that'll work out perfect time. Because if you look at our season calendar, it's going to be ready to cut in March. So, actually, yeah, overall, that works out very well for us. If we get the grass done early March, and then that gives us time, that gives us a window to get things planted, where it's be. Potatoes, sugar beet again, or just doing a spring barley and that. Whatever it is, it's going to be fine. So, so you actually need to go and unload this. So, we'll lower you down. There we go. Untrap that. Try to stay away from that weather station because that does go tick, tick, tick. So, but yeah, so whilst we're down here, we need some fertilizer and that. I think we've got some already, but there's no harm in getting some more in, so we'll go to our fertilizers. One, two, three, eight. Yeah, 15, that'd be enough. So, oh yeah, that is quite a bit there, so... I 
I think there's some more around the corners there. Yeah, there's four more in the corner, so... Bear me a few seconds here, whilst I get this loaded up. And then we'll get this all taken back. So, yep, a little bit of time skipped ahead. That's because we had a disaster with the fertilizer we bought. 90,000 litres of those pallets, and yeah, they're very heavy. I completely forgot about that. And yeah, it just pretty much this was like sunken through the ground, even with it at race height, not lower. So, yeah, so we had to take him to the farm directly. Got that sorted. Also, we've upgraded the engine on the Massey. I spent something in the region of 50 grand for a brand new engine. Rather than the 325 it had, it's now got a 435. Yeah, I think it's a 435 horsepower engine. If we have a little quick look here. Go to our Owned equipment. So yeah, it went from 325 to 435 horsepower, and looks we're on the wrong side of the road there. But yeah, the purpose of that is just give that a bit of extra horsepower. It's still quite young in terms of its age and that, so for, yeah, let's utilize this. Uh, yeah, we're slowly catching, but I'm gonna hold behind. I'm just gonna let the worker do its thing, take it to the farm. And then, yeah, we also bought some more seed. Got 36,000 litres of seed and 12,000 litres of liquid fertilizer because that is needed for the greenhouses, of course. And also, when it comes to storage, we've upgraded our storage of stuff, so we're gonna have those little silos. I've got some big silos installed in that and delivered. What's the worker doing? Where is going to go? Yeah, I'm not sure where the worker is, but you may just see it there. It's a brand new commodity storage. Ooh. Okay, I don't know where you're going, so I'm just going to overtake you like so. But yeah, so we've got tanks for the seed and fertilizer. There we go. Yeah, because I think it's seed, fertilizer, and lime. It is so. And then for our liquid stuff, we can just shove it in here. I'm not sure how much we got, but I thought wasp was down there. Almost fell over. Yeah, we can just whack in storage. Uh, and that's not going up, so bear with me a sec whilst I sort out a tank for this. There we go, got the tank here, so let's go and put the fertilizer in. Cool, yeah, plan next is gonna be is start doing the weed work. 
I'm not sure if it's just one field, the oats, or if it's both oats and the wheat field, so we can quickly check that. So fertilizer is good, more or less, we've missed some spots. But yeah, look at the weeds. Yeah, so that's going to need weeding. And 110 will need weeding as well. Obviously, there's bits here we can weed, but I'm not going to focus on that until next year when we start prepping the crop and that for everything. So, I think, yeah, for the time being, we'll leave that be. But yeah, just having a look. Got, yeah, plenty of herbicide. And a fair amount of liquid fertilizer got enough off, but I thought, what's this? Again, I said, what's her down there? Just buy some. Because, yeah, I think we've all we've got now. We've still got to see a little bit of seed fertilizer at Stonebridge Farm. That's the thing, that is sort of going to be our main farming area. I know we slightly creeping back into this being a farmyard. But I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. Like, we've got a few equipment around the farm area. But if it's like around the farmyard where the cows are down there, it's not so much of an issue because it's outside in a way. Yeah, tourists will come in, have a look around the farm area. The thing like, where the messy is. There, people's going to notice and maybe even complain, so. As we're down to our last three tanks. There we go. Trapped. There we go. So yeah, let's get these sass ones in. And just like that, we are filled. So let's go and I'm actually turning properly. That's the downside with this John Deere. It's good, it's a good big powerful tractor and that for its size. But it's just so underutilized it is when it comes to the actual delivery of the power when it comes to steering and that so that's why I prefer the other John Deere and this Massey here for you know, bits we have to work around the yard and that little yard work but I may look for a, another small tractor uh, I may do I'll see that but I probably won't and if I do it's going to be in the, be in the high horsepower one maybe and that is in perfectly in the way, so let's go and move you. Just whack you there for now. There we go. So yeah, let's get these chickens filled, so... And it doesn't have a cover, so we will need to put this in storage afterwards. But yeah, that's not a problem. There we go. Now for Stonebridge. And there we go, so let's back it up. Yeah, it is a bit of a tight area, and in fairness, a smaller trailer would be more useful than this, but we'll make it work. Squeeze between the chickens. There we go. Barry's going in. So, yeah, that's left us with 26,000 liters. I think, yeah, we'll just dump it into the silo over here, whilst we're, yeah, since we're over here anyways. And also, I think, also whilst we're here, go and repair the trader. And just give it a little once over now. Because also you bought it second hand, so... Just do our bit of due diligence when it comes to making sure any equipment we purchase is at least maintained well enough. Or <clears throat> well, at least I say that, well maintained. Uh, practice wise, uh, not too much, I do think. So yeah, brand to just give it a once over. Maybe just change some bearings and that in the tires and that. Maybe some hinges and bolts and all that, so... Yeah, I think now what we'll do is we'll use uh, how is the muck in here in the next episodes. But yeah, we've got so much of that and so much manure. I'm thinking 
We'll get that digestate production, like fertilizer production facility. Instead, what I'll do is that would enable us to make digestate. How can we make some decent profit from that? Especially with store yards. Yeah, why not? But, anyways, before we do that, we need to start selling some more products, so we'll go and grab all the big bags. And yeah, we'll sell them. Not all of them like the peak price, some of it we've actually missed the peak price of things like the butter and that, so. Yeah. Bit of a whoopsie there on my part, but oh well. It happens. So, yeah, because. Yeah, that's why we skipped ahead. I just want the cooking facility to run its course in that, and just literally anything and everything is sold and consumed. And most of this you should get a decent price for. There's some more, uh, what was it? Tomato sauce and salad. We'll deal with those in a bit. Yeah, we got some big bags here, so let's go and grab them. So undo the tension straps, unload them. So yeah, to start off with, we've got our cheese. Got nine thousand liters worth, so that can go. Oops, not to the sky. Just flow down, flip back up. So yeah, I'll say just whack it on there. Next we've got 39,000 litres of butter. That's just go on like so. Next we've got 5,000 litres of chocolate. The good thing about these, these are sackable, these are. So just like so. Ba boom, ba boom. And then Nasi from here, we've got almost 62,000 years of sugar. We still got some sugar beet we can use to process, so I'm not too worried about that. So we'll grab those. And now for the last product, the flour. And there we go, just gonna grab the flour. So yeah, that is 64,000 years of flour. May have some issues, so actually, can we do a little cheeky like that? So, lift it across, just wedge it in there. So, we hop in. So, yeah, look at that. We've got a lot of stuff 64,000 litres of flour, 9,000 litres of cheese. 5,000 years of chocolate, 62,000 years basically of sugar, and 39,000 years of butter. So, yeah, we're all gonna go to the cookie cell station. So, we're getting 3,200 per thousand for the butter, 2,300 for the flour, 6,300 for the cheese, and lastly is the chocolate. And we'll be getting 7,300 for that, so that is a lot of money we're going to be making. That is a lot of moolah. And yeah, that's only the best part of it. The best part of it is we've still got our cookies to sell. So yeah, I think with all the money we're going to be making, we can pay the debt off. And certainly treat ourselves to some vital pieces of equipment that I think the farm needs that we need, not only as a contractor just remember, we're still a contractor, we are even though we've got our own farming business now our side hustle is contracts, that's our bread and butter that is, when it comes to between harvests, between selling how do we make our money in the meantime and it's mainly through contract work yeah, if you look at like actual numbers of volume like to the pound yeah these productions are good but they're only good for one year or two we're going to be doing this consistently because 
Yeah, if we did this all the time, man, we'll be making absolute bank loads of money that way. And I do mean serious amounts of bank, so... I think we've got... Yeah, it's that happy medium of not going over the top, also not keep it boring. And yeah, okay, I'll admit this is perhaps slightly over the top, in all due fairness, but... But anywho, let's go and see how much money we're going to make of this, so... I think it's going to be around three, four hundred grand easily. There we go. So yeah, we're selling some of the stuff at least. Also do a send of flower. Go. So yeah, we're at 700 grand, and let's see where we stand afterwards. Guess you're put, yeah, put your bets on it now, folks. Nine hundred grand. Still got more stuff. I think not send everything, so I think we can actually even break a million. I totally think we're going to actually hit the million mark, so... Part 1. 453 grand. Still got other bits to sell, so... Or maybe not. So I think that's actually everything. Well, that was everything, so actually, yeah, 453 grand, so... Overall, not too shabby if I'd say so for myself. So, go to here, own stuff, pallets, we'll return that. So, yeah, that is actually a lot of money, and that is going to set us up for the future, I think. So, now, I think we we'll head back to Stonebridge Farm and do some herbicide work. Actually, before we do any of that stuff, I thought, heck it, we're in the mood of sending stuff, so let's go and sell the rest of our stuff here. So apart from the cake, not the cake, so apart from the cookies, which will be set in the next episode, I think we've got like 190 pallets of cookies in storage at about 180, 190, come on, squeeze. I should have lined this better, but I didn't. But yeah, so we've got our tomato sauce, salad and all that stuff, along with some other bits, our cakes and bread. There we go. And 69,000 litres of strawberries as well. So yeah, we're going to quickly sell this, so most of this is going to go to the same sell point, the cookie station. That will take the bread, the cake and strawberries. Everything else will go to either the market stall or sell everything container. They're like similar prices at the moment, and yeah, honestly, I'm not too fast. Because, yeah, if we have a look here, so go to our prices, so scroll back up here, and we'll see the prices of everything. So, strawberries 900 quid per thousand euros. It can go up a bit more if we wait a month in that, but heck it, heck it all, I say. Let's just sell everything now. Is that a decent price? 900 quid. It's above the average price anyway, so... Why not? So, let's go and sell this. There we go. So, yeah, let's go and see how much money we'll make. So, if I had to guess, 60, 65 grand, just from strawberries itself. Yeah, I know tomorrow's also set to the air. So, didn't get one big old swoop, so... I need to toggle the work mode. No, not that. Loading area, yes. You know what, heck, it's just sell strawberries first of all. 
And yeah, we're going to easy hit a million. That's just from the shrub house alone that's helped us. Not including anything else. So, top of all four is it 8200 we've got. So, that is 6300. So, yeah, 61 and a bit grand. So, yeah, as expected. I think that's selling now. Ah, there we go. Ah, we missed. Don't see this. Why ain't that selling? Should be selling, right? So, selling the bread. It's causing a conflict. Ah, oh, shit. See so, yeah, how read that shit off. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, you know what? Bear with me a sec, folks. Whilst I get it sold. Wait a minute, yes, bread is sold here. Shut up. Uh, what's going on? Oh, God. Yeah, bear with me a sec, folks, whilst I figure this out. And, yeah, get this rectified. Because, God. Thankfully, I think, yeah, we didn't lose anything from that, so... That's a plus, at least, so... Yeah, let's go and just get everything to sold here a sec. Because, God, was that annoying or what? There we go. Just go and sell everything. Oh, what's going on here? Just sell for free sake. You get over there. All of this just goes drag it over. Sell, sell. Get out of my sight. I'm done with you. I said I am done with you. Bit. So yeah, after all that fuss, we got an extra few grand there, so... Oh god, was that painful. That was painful to watch, I know, but... Oh, just bury my head in the sand. Anyways, that is our product sold, so... Yeah, just confirm with the whole cookie situation. Go jump over here a sec. Skidoodle in here, so yeah. We've got 17 oatmeal cookies, 61 chocolate chocolate chip cookies, 9 sugar cookies because we quickly stopped doing those once we realised overalls and really worth it compared to what else we could be producing. Got a pallet of clothes, 6 pallets of wool, and 60 strawberry cheesecakes. And I think what I'll do in the next episode, or the one after, I'm going to go and sell these stuff. I won't just do it, you know, from the whole big bags thing, you know, because that gets... doesn't make a good thumbnail either, it doesn't, so... That would require... Uh, at least four, maybe five trips. I'll say four trips to the sell point, so... Yes, overall, not too bad. Money-wise, we are looking good now, so... Now, let's go and grab the herb site. Grab a sprayer and that, and let's get everything herbicide did. And there we go, as we are once again crashing into stuff. Going too fast now, no more cakes that have been spawned. But yeah, so it's time to do some herbiciding. 
Uh, yeah, we've got a full tank out front. We only topping up. And yeah, like with the money we've got now, we can go down the route of going for a bigger spreader in that. However, yeah, does it really seem worth doing it? I'll say that because in terms of storage, yeah, there is a way of storing stuff, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I still want to, you know, get a bigger spread. Like, these are easy stored. Yeah, it holds 300 years. Apologies there, I shut the windows, getting a bit windy. But, yeah, so, 300 years we've got. We can go with, you know, one of these, 5,200 years, 4,300 years. Kaboot stuff. What's that? Excel capacity. Uh, I don't really want to go down that route. Unless we get away with... You know, maybe just go with a slightly bigger tank than that at the front. I don't see what harm that would do, but that's a bit... It's, it's a bit too cheesy it is. I don't want to go with... You know, the stupid capacity with everything. But yeah, we'll go with this one. Actually, what's the difference? 4,300 litres, 33 metres, 7 miles an hour. Compared to the base game, nothing. I guess that's just for precision farming, so... I might as well stick with that. But yeah, in terms of capacity, that's 1,500 litres. That one's, yes, 50, 50, yeah, 1,500 litres, so... Yeah, unless we go with the Dell Force ones. Go with the Navigator, Commander, or the Aeon. No differences in width or work speeds, just slot count and capacity and weight, so... If anything, I'll be more tempted towards this. You know, 33 metres, compared to what we're doing, about the same, right? Oh well, 21 metres, so... But... Is it really that much less? But again as well, it's navigation into the fields, through the tight lanes like this. We can manage to get through the gates and that. Just about, I'll, I'll admit to that. And yeah, then most of the time it doesn't help with my driving, of course, I'll admit to that. But yeah, maybe we could look at doing a demo one next year when it comes to planting next year's crop in. If we get weeds, maybe worth demoing something. One of the two, the De Delta Force ones, I'm thinking, like the higher capacity ones. We still have the additional tank out front, key, long term. If we so wish one to. There's no reason not to sell that. Oh yeah, I also need to sell, not sell, move that roller, so... Let's quickly do that. So, we're going to shove our beacons on here. Yeah, and again, crushing in just. Yeah, you know, the two different John Deere's. Like, this one's like got very quick steering. The other one, not so quick, let's put it that way. So, but yeah, so let's go and just dump that there. I'll go and grab the roller. I'm starting to lose the light now. It's getting to evening now, so I think we'll have at most about an hour and a half or so of light left. Two hours at most. Come five o'clock, it's going to be dark, so yeah, you know what? We need to get these done, so I think the best way to get it done is a little quick time nap. So yeah, we'll get this field here done, 110, our oak field, and we'll get our wheat field down at the bottom left corner by field 144 done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And then we can rest the evening before having to do some slide work in the next episode.
are done, just scale the time back a little bit because I actually had the date set to November for some reason, so correct that. And yeah, it's pretty much dust now. Got all of the spraying done, just a couple of bits here and there we may have missed, but overall, I'm not too worried about that. I can live with that. Double check what's more fertilizing, looks all good on all of our fields. Clean 111. Actually, didn't check the weeds on there. Or well, few who hasn't got weeds, so. And yeah, I just want to double check for lime. Don't think there's any lime requirements at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much not really. And is there any contracts up at the moment that we can do to cover the time in December? Nope, so. Oh. How did we end up on our site? No idea. But yeah, so we had to fill up. So that's the thing with the whole bigger sprayer now. If we went with the bigger sprayer, we could have done both those fields in one go without having to fill up. But, uh, it's one of those things I think it is. Maybe worth doing it at some point, but... Personally, I'm happy with what we've got here. It doesn't take too long to do. If we had more fields than that, all we could do is just get another pair of these. Whack onto the Massey or the other John Deere, get another two. And just divide and conquer, but apart from that, yeah, I really don't see the need to upgrade to a bigger soft pelt one or a pull behind one. Don't get me wrong, I would love a soft pelt sprayer. And it is used in the UK, soft pelt sprayers are used in the UK. May have a look at some options in that, but overall, I don't think I'm going to be going down that particular route. But who knows? So, I think whilst we end the day, let's have a little quick check at our flower because we got rid of that bag, didn't we? So, yeah, we've got a pad here at the moment. Actually, we'll start looking at topping up our bread production. So how's that doing for bread and all that? So actually it's doing alright actually. Still got plenty of flour to last. Almost about eight months I'll say give or take. And yeah we've still got plenty more producing from the wheat and barley. I have to go down and have a look at our productions. How are they doing? So I have another pallet of apple honey in a sec. Have a look here. Oh, we're maxed on tomato sauces, so maybe I have to look at doing something else. But yeah, I'm not sure at all. How's that looking? Yeah, still plenty of wool, like 2800 years a month, so still got at least six months worth of wool left, so. And yeah, the cookie factory, pretty much everything has been consumed apart from strawberries and a tiny bit of sugar, so... Yeah, we're still checking, all good. But yeah, we've still got some sugar in the silo, so we can get some sugar from the sugar beet, or cut them up, get sugar beet cut. But yeah, besides from that, I think that's where we're going to leave it today, so yeah, next time... We've got grass work to do, we're going to mow all of our grass fields here, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 plots to do. So yeah, we need to look at a mower setup, so can I ever go like the Chrome Big M? Or do we go something different maybe? Maybe one of these, because these can mount up together. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I just don't know. But anyways, that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to click down below. If you want to share this, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to me yet, then please consider. But, very just to do. Hope you're going But for now, it's me, Farmer Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.